Ouais. Good. On est bien Ça marche le son Est-ce que vous m'entendez dans le micro Ouais, c'est bon Super. Ok. Hi everybody, hello. Uh, so, it's a pleasure for me to be there today. Um, and I'm going to talk about Jaspera, which is a, an open source social network. I think you know about it. Um, and uh, I, I feel really happy to be in the decentralized room to see that um, the, the mind of people is changing and that we now have this room at the FOSDEM. And I hope, like Tristan said, that it will be bigger next year. <laughs> um, so, shortly, um, I'm uh, Fla, so that's how everybody called me. Um, I work in Grenoble in a small company we do, we, which does um, carpooling. And I'm mostly uh, Mozilla, Framasoft, and Diaspora contributor. So um, I care about online privacy. Um, I feel like we need to decentralize the internet, so that's why I joined Framasoft. And I'm running the Framasphere, which is uh, one of the biggest um, Diaspora server in France, um, and hosted by Framasoft. So uh, maybe some of them, some of you are users. Um, so why did uh, why does the Jaspera project exist? Um, the first thing is, I feel like, and I hope you're feeling like that too, that sharing is awesome. Uh, I know a lot of people who are afraid of Facebook, and they are just like, uh, you know, the memory of the good old times when you were talking to your friend um, in real life. And I feel like the social network can be way um, better than it is right now, and maybe um, something which is good. And it's actually you have kind of like two kind of people: the the one who just doesn't care and use Facebook and don't care about their data, and the one who are afraid and just use nothing. And there is room between them to build something great to use. Um, which will allow you to share uh, with your friends, your contact, everyone in the world, um, but without being uh, spied, without being used to make money by corporation. So that's um, <coughs> that's the the first things. Um, there is also things about the rules. Um, if you are a Facebook or Twitter user, you may notice that. You're not always welcome on those uh, networks, depending on what you share, what you think, uh, which country you're using, uh, which from country you're using the network. So, uh, for example, we saw during the the Arab uh, Spring, uh, Facebook being cut in Tunisia. Uh, it's really easy to cut. You you just have to switch off the DNS, and that's it. No more Facebook for thousands of persons. Um, and so the, the last thing is, yeah, we want to be able to control the service, we want to be able to control the data, so we need to split it, to decentralize. So the, the first thing you can say about Jasper is decentralized. Uh, technically, it's really, really close to email. Everybody can set up a, an email server, and everybody can set up a Jasper server, and you will be able to talk to everyone else um, setting another email. So, if you if you feel like you you can host a Jasper node, I really encourage you to do so. Um, <coughs> it it will allow you to talk with everyone. It's not only um, what's going on on your server. It's not for you and your friends only. You can set up a server for you and your friends, but you will be able to reach everyone from uh, the Jasper network from from this place. Um, so yeah, and the, the, the data are, are controlled only by the, the server administrator. So if you feel like, um, for example, you trust Framasoft, uh, you can join us on Framasphere, and it will be as easy as register with one click, like Facebook. Uh, if you feel like you want to control completely all the data, you want the images on your house, uh, you want uh, to be the only one to be able to remove your messages, then you will have to host yourself, and you will be the master of everything. So, this, not this. 
Um, th this is pretty funny because, well, we are talking about social networking and you, you will recognize Facebook there, but you can replace Facebook by almost any other co American corporation and we'll, we, you will have the exact same um, chart. So. so I said the other point is social. I, I strongly feel that we can do um, way more than we are actually doing for a lot of interesting topics, of course for free software, but also for ecology, politics, almost everything you want. Uh, and the, the internet is, the, is something as important as the, the printing was uh, by Gutenberg um, hundreds of years ago. Like everybody now can stand up and talk and he will be able to reach thousands, millions of people within minutes. Um, and we need to be able to do that to build a better world. So I feel like sharing is really important. Um, and about the Jaspera features, you will be able to do mostly what you can do with a traditional social network. So sharing images and polls and with um, all the classic features like mentions and hashtags and to be able to react by liking, commenting, resharing, that's, that's the hearse of the social network. Um, but Jasper is more than that. We also give uh, more power to the user to be able to um, transform the, the message, so to be able to write and to insert images where he wants to in, inside the, the text or to say this should be in bold or in italic or this is a title, a list, table, inside uh, videos and many things you can move and arrange uh, inside the network. And finally, um, Jasperite is about privacy. So decentralization is already something really, really good uh, in terms of privacy that you control the data. But um, still, the software itself is really privacy oriented. So that means um, by default, the user uh, will be in a secure world. Like when you register on Facebook, you, you first register and then you have to go to the settings deeply inside the settings to find everything you can hide. So no, I don't want my birthday to be public. No, I don't want my friends to be public. No, I don't want my pictures to be public. Each setting is deeply hidden inside the Facebook configuration. By default, if you do not touch anything on Jasper just after you, you register, you will be safe. This is really important, the, the opt-in versus opt-out um, mind when you build a software. Um, especially, we do not require a real name, nor even a, a valid email address. If you don't put a valid email address by reg um, when you register inside Jasper, you just will not be able to recover your password <coughs> and to, you will not receive any email notification. But that's it. The software itself works without email. So if you want to be completely anonymous, and I know a few nodes uh, which can be reached uh, using uh, Tor, so directly with an Onion uh, address. So if you want to be completely anonymous, you can do, you can do that. Um, we are using a system called Aspects, which, is, uh, which has been copied by Google with a circle inside Google Plus to define uh, the different aspects of your life, so your co-workers or your family, your friends, and, and deeply control uh, the, who is accessing the data you're publishing right now. Um, that, that's pretty efficient. And um, uh, other example of privacy feature right here, for example, uh, I don't know if you know the, <laughs> the uh, small uh, demonstration project, which was maybe something called Chaton 2. Uh, someone one day just feel like, oh my God, I want to know whether the kitten are on the internet. So he, he go on Flickr, he, he, he goes on uh, Google image, he bring uh, something like one million pictures of, of cats and he just, uh, had a look at the EXIF, so the GPS location of it, each picture, and put that on a map. And it was really scary. You, 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 you display the map and you see like, oh, this is the cat of my friend right here. <laughs> and you will be able to see the picture of the cats all around you. And you say, you, you're like, okay, when I, I take a picture, I don't think about all the consequences, but most of the time from a, um, a smartphone, the location of the picture is, uh, is recorded and you will be able to say, 
at which time and at which place it has been uh, taken. So this gives a lot of information about the user. Um, in Diaspora, by default, the exif data, so the metadata of the picture, are stripped when you upload it. So you upload the picture and everything behind it is removed. You, we only keep the picture. Um, and so another one is the, the proxify content. So a lot of pictures are linked inside social network from other websites. You have also the um, open graph uh, short text presentation when someone posts a link on Facebook, on Diaspora. So if I post a link to uh, a website, um, a request will be made to this website to display a short summary of it um, just under the post. Um, so if you load the images, for example, of the website, this, this, this means that each user which will display, who will display it, will, um, <coughs> will uh, do a request to this server, so we'll be able to be tracked by it. Uh, so we, we set up a, um, a proxy, so all the images can go by the node itself, and the user is not doing any queries from the external to the external world, only to the Jasper server, so it's not tracked. This is um, the Jasper publisher, so uh, I just wanted to show you how easy it could be to um, format your text and choose what you want to do. So we support Markdown. There is some shortcut on the top, the poll um, picture on uh, geolocation, if you want to add it. Uh, the setting there is uh, to allow you to post directly from Jasper to Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr, because um, <coughs> the transition is pretty hard for most of people. So we want to be able to connect with the, with the outside world. And the aspect is uh, how you select who is able to see the post. <coughs> um, Jaspora is now a community-run project, but it has, it has found by uh, four American students. Um, <coughs> after a talk by Ibn Moglan, I don't know if you know him, he, he wrote uh, the GPL license uh, with uh, Stallman. He's an advocate. And it's really interesting. I really encourage you to listen to, to Moglen talks. Uh, so they, they started a Kickstarter campaign. <coughs> Unfortunately, they were pretty inexperimented, and uh, the thing didn't go well. Uh, and uh, the, the, this is the side part of the talk. <laughs> uh, one of them even committed suicide because of the pressure coming from everywhere. And uh, so. At this time, um, the Jaspera project was almost something uh, dead, like uh, they didn't want to work on it anymore. Uh, so they decided to um, release it to the community. And for more than four years now, the, the community bring the project. So the FSSN is uh, an organization uh, managed by uh, Hiban Moglen. And um, this is the, who they are holding the assets for us, so all the trademark and copyright uh, for Jasper and some money too. Um, but most of the time we are just <coughs> managing the project ourselves without any problem. We, we are using the, the Lumio tool to, make, uh, to take decision. Um, as, uh, there is hundreds of persons on it who can vote and you're welcome to join. Everybody can vote and take decision about Jasper. And we moved on a new release system um, so we now release a, a minor version every six weeks, and we release the first major version uh, in May uh, 2013. And we are now at the sixth major version, which was released uh, this September, uh, with a deeply uh, improved federation, so the protocol between the nodes, uh, and a new redesign. And I cannot, um, I cannot not talk about <laughs> the fact that uh, we saw his is coming uh, on Jasper on August uh, 2014. So we need to be uh, decentralized. We need to be um, to protect ourselves from cooperation. But Jasper was not um, built to be a no laws uh, land. It's uh, something uh, um, I want to precise because. Uh, 
we are not tall or we are not uh, fighting the government here. Um, the decentralization allows us to uh, be resilient to censorship, um, but this is not the first goal of Jaspera. The first uh, goal of Jaspera is to avoid uh, Facebook and, and Google and all the data mining and ads targeting uh, done by American corporation. Um, but we do need to have a, a, a control system to be able to remove some uh, illegal posts. So each, each uh, node itself can decide what he wants to do uh, with the post. The user just um, signal it, like they are saying, okay, something which is maybe illegal is uh, on your server, and the, the administrator can decide if uh, he thinks he should remove it or not. And especially all servers are spread all over the world, so the laws, for example, in France or Germany, are different than the USA ones. Uh, and if you want to host a server somewhere in uh, Taiwan or with a no laws country, uh, you can do whatever you want. So this is a um, quick uh, screenshot of the whole design uh, from the previous major version. And the new one, I just wanted to show you how it looks. Um, I don't have time to do a demo, but uh, we, we, we can talk about it later, or you can just go on a pod and register and you will see. And I wanted to point that we, uh, we did a, a really big, big work um, last year to rewrite the whole uh, Jasper protocol um, to extract it from the core. And so you, it is not available as a, a Ruby gem, so a library you, you can include inside your project. Uh, and we are not the only one uh, speaking this protocol. The Fryandica and the Hubzilla projects are still uh, are talking uh, Jasper too. Uh, so we now call the, the protocol the Federation, and we try to remove all the Jasper specific word inside the protocol. The protocol itself is not referring to Jasper anymore. It's something uh, which has been extracted, and I encourage you to have a look. The, the complete specification are available, of course. Uh, everything is open, and uh, you can uh, switch your project if you maybe I don't know. I depending on what you do, and we we have um, a website called thefederation.info. Uh, that I'm redesigning currently, um, which is a list of all the nodes uh, which exist and uh, is speaking the Jasper app protocol. So you, you've got several projects listed on there. Um, and short, uh, what expect for the futures? Well, uh, we are full of ideas. Uh, unfortunately, we are all volunteers, so we need more resources and more time, maybe. Uh, but big things are coming, uh, especially Senya right here uh, is working on the, the migration things because this is also a core value, but we, it's really hard to build in the decentralized world. But the idea is to be able to say, I want to leave this node and grab every information I have with me, every message I post, all my contact information, and to be able to grab that and put it in another node. For example, you can say, oh, I will try um, Jasper. I don't have time to install it. So you register on Framesphere, uh, and you use it for several months. You say, OK, I like it, but uh, now I want to host myself. So you will be able to grab all your data and install your own Jasper app, put it on it, and restart like everything never ch I like it if you started on your, f your node at the beginning. So that's really important for us. Uh, and I encourage you to, to come and contribute if you, if you want to help. Um, just to welcome some new here people is always um, something very, very valuable. All right, thank you. Uh, this is all the, the URL where you can find uh, most of the information about Jasper Author, the official website, and the code on GitHub and the list of nodes at the Federation. Thank you. I don't know how many time we have for questions, but uh, five minutes? Five minutes. OK. Yep. Uh, two questions, in fact. Uh, one is, when will Framasphere um, enable the XMPP chat? Yeah. Uh, and, and the second one uh, is also related to XMPP. 
will it be possible in the future to send posts via my XMPP client? Yeah, and so. Will I be able to read posts using an XMPP client instead of the website? So the, the question is about uh, the integration of XMPP inside Jaspera. Um, for, so first of all, the chat right now is not in a stable state. Mm -hmm. So uh, Framasphere is way too big to put uh, um, a beta feature um, okay. on it at the moment, but it will be activated at, as soon as it's ready. I'm right on the started block. <laughs> and how about the in, uh, XMPP integration itself? Um, we use XMPP for the real-time chats. Uh, it is already possible to, well, what we do is just to link the database of Jasper to be able to log in to XMPP with your username and your password. So if you use, I don't know, Pigeon uh, and you, your pod have uh, XMPP enabled, you will be able to log inside Pigeon directly and to chat with all the person using XMPP. You're not stuck to a Jasper user, of course. Yeah, yeah, no, but but the, the message can, is that... You can put a post with Yeah, the no, this is not going to happen. Because, um, like, really, XMPP is, is nice to do uh, chat and a lot of things, but um, it has some flaws, which is not really the good idea to write a social network back on XMPP. I know, uh, I know pretty well the guys behind uh, Saluatua, behind Movim, uh, there is nice uh, social project uh, trying to use XMPP, and definitely um, there there should be a lot of effort to do that. And I don't think it's worth it at the moment. Yes. Uh, so you you mentioned the Facebook isn't they simply shut down the DNS and everyone logs out. Yeah. Uh, how are you safe from the same guy? If I shut down the DNS, how would it work? Uh, which DNS do, would you shut down? Well, the, the, the point, yeah. So the point is about censorship by shutting down DNS. Uh, I, I talk about Facebook.com because Facebook.com is only one server, one domain name. So if you stop this one, then nobody can use Facebook anymore. Um, really, Jasper, I like the email. If, if you, if you um, stop gmail.com, if you stop Orange and free and all the Yahoo and maybe Outmail, everyone will still using emails. You see what I mean? You cannot shut down the email. If you shut down a domain name, I will just be able to buy another one and point it to my server, and that's it. So, yeah? <laughs> we can talk about it after that. Sort of uh, public APIs, for example, to build external clients or things like that. Yeah, so the IPA is uh, uh, currently we already work a lot on it, and the whole specification of the API is, uh, is written. So we have the, the idea how oh, it, it will be, uh, but the code itself is not done yet. Um, Jasper is already an. Um, an uh, uh, I want uh, <laughs> a provider of, uh, I, was, I lost it. Open ID. Open ID, thank Open you. ID yeah, so uh, uh, there, there is already the identi identification part, which is uh, quite working, and there is still works going on, but the, uh, the API is not ready yet. But the specification are there, so if you want to be prepared to write an application for Jaspera, you can already have a look, and we welcome feedback too, uh, of course. Yes? When a user registers on a pod and starts up uploading data to that pod, does that data then get copied and stored in, in all the other pods in the network as well? So the question is about the, um, the data being copied to other nodes of the network. So the answer is the text are pushed, but not the, the important data like images. So if you, if you publish a post saying, uh, look at my pictures, um, you will, it will be encrypted and sent to other nodes on, uh, where you have contact, only the one you're talking to. Um, they will receive the message and be able to decrypt it. Uh, and then they will have a URL to the images. They, but the images stay on your node. So that if you removed it, nobody has access on it anymore. All right. So time's up, everybody. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't answer your question after that. Thank you very well. Uh,
And so, see you there. <laughs>